Hey again guys. So I figured I would try and add uh, a little bit more complexity to the last video. Um, I'm starting here with what I uh, drew out on the last video. You might recognize it. <coughs> so what we've got here is a simplified way that I take to remember the intrinsic and extrinsic pathways of the coagulation cascade. Um, I figured I would just add a little bit more on because when I'm using this on my own, I actually use more detail than this, and so very likely you will too. Um, I was going to start just by adding on a couple things. You've probably heard that, you know, different drugs and different tests um, either affect or look at different legs of the uh, coagulation cascade differently. So I just thought I'd uh, mark some of that in. First of all, um, the intrinsic pathway that we have running down the middle um, is usually tested for by using PTT. And the uh, drug that affects that the most, or at least is classically understood to affect it the most, is heparin, which I abbreviate HEP. Um, <coughs> excuse me. They're both, both uh, three letters, so they kind of stick together for me. I'll just put those in parentheses since they're not actually participating how we have it drawn out. Um, and in addition, there is a drug which is warfarin. Um, warfarin is actually, it affects vitamin K dependent, and you can see we have three vitamin K guys here. This pathway is a lot more affected um, than this one, which has other factors, so I don't totally understand it, but it's enough to remember that warfarin, which I'll just put a W, and W is kind of like almost having two letters, and the test that it looks at, or that looks at it, is the prothrombin time, PT. So those are some of the tests there. Um, now I did want to get a little bit more complicated. I study from first aid, and the, the first aid is a you know prep book for boards, and uh, it has a bit more complexity. I tried to get that much comp complexity into mine, and hopefully not a little, not too much more. Um, so I wanted to go with a little bit of the degradation. And so we said last time that I'm using black arrows to show when something activates, and I'm going to use a highlighter, pink arrows. I know to uh, to show when things are being broken down by something. So an arrow will show a product that's breaking down another product. Um, so just so we're kind of all on the same page, we'll get started by going from 12. So 12A, besides activating 11 to 11A, also activates calocrine. Uh, forgive my spelling and writing. I'm making no promises, but you get the idea. Calocrine has a few functions. Um, one of those is that it can activate bradykinin. Bradykinin. And so we're just going to show this, that that's, that's coming from there. Now I'm going to add another little thing in back into the, sorry, back into the top of the, here, um, the intrinsic pathway. Because the intrinsic pathway, besides platelets and collagen, oh, collagen, um, can be stimulated by high molecular weight kinase. So we'll just add this onto here, its own little thing. And bradykinin actually comes from high molecular weight kinase. Now bradykinin, <coughs> excuse me, um, is broken down, so I'm just going to put down bradykinin degradation. Um, I don't know if that's a you know clinically significant product that it produces. I don't know what it is. Um, and this synthesis is catalyzed by ACE, which you've probably heard of ACE inhibitors, and that they cause bradykinin to rise. That's why they, if you block this, you prevent bradykinin from being de degraded. So back to calocrine. Calocrine, besides doing this reaction up here, helping that happen, also activates a big gun, which we call plasmin. You've probably heard of this. Plasmin is a major anticoagulant. Um, and plasmin is uh, from plasminogen. It's you know a molecule that's inside your body. Plasmin breaks down stabilized fibrin to fibrin degradation products. So I'll write that here, fibrin degradation. So I'm going to say that it's making fibrin degradation products. 
I could also have used my pink arrow, um, and then a little dotted line to remind us where that's coming from. Now, Plasmin also, uh, one last thing that I know that it does, is it activates um, complement by helping form C3A. Um, I'm not going to get into complement in this video, but complement is a major factor and very important physiologically. So one last, or not one last thing, there's a couple things. So plasmin. Plasmin is really powerful, so we need a way to stop it from, a, um, kind of, you know, stop it in its tracks. We're going to go with um, a few different things that can do that. One of those is alpha-2 antiplasmin. Um, another, okay, or alpha-2 is um, microglobulin. Um, and I'm going to break out my pink arrow, whoa, sorry, to show that that is being broken down. So just so we know what's going on. So this is breaking down plasmin. Um, so there's that. Um, we haven't mentioned yet proteins C and S. These are, you know, we circled these guys back in the last video and said that they are important because they require vitamin K to be synthesized in their inactive state in the liver. Um, protein C and S also require vitamin K. So here's C, here's S. S activates C, and then C does a few things. Among those, it breaks down 8, it breaks down 5, um, and unless I'm mistaken, it activates plasma. So there's a whole lot going on. I'm just going to add one little extra arrow in because I know it. Um, one in inactivates two. So uh, there we go. We added a whole lot more on there. I guess uh, kind of cutting off a bit of the top. but um, So that's what we've got. Just checking through my mental notes, making sure that we've got it all there. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's what I use at least. Um, you know, you might have more. Um, before we go, I'll just add one last thing in. I know that there's one thing else that can activate plasmin. That's thrombin, which I'm using uh, 2A to represent. So there you go. Uh, I know it's pretty complicated stuff, and hopefully I haven't just made it worse for you, but I think this process, writing it out, has really helped me and encourage you to do the same. Take care.